Hey, well, welcome back to Kail Shira. It's uh, we're learning Lakuti Halachas, and uh, we're in uh, Hilchas Kriyas Atayra Halach of Vav, and we're going to start with Mem Aleph. Okay, we see it on the left. And, okay, Bezel Sheremes Rabbi Sreinu Zal B'Devreim Hanal Shavu Linyan Hav Sakais Shayalitein Revach LeMoshe. Right, so when Moshe Rabbeinu we learned last week had to make star, he stopped. In between each parsha, yeah, right. That's what we call the parshois, right? Because yeah. you would be mafarish. You would be mafarish. What he, what Hashem gave him over the information, right? right. And Moshe Benu had to be misbeining on that information, yeah, and then think it over, and how to present it to Klal Yisrael. And we said that that is for on the level of the tzaddik. That's his batola, so to say, yeah. on his level, because really he could be accomplishing much more during that same amount of time, but he's giving up from his own learning to be able to give over to others. Make sense? Yeah. Right? In other words, he could be advancing his own learning, but he'll rather give, let, let forgo that for a few moments yeah. in order to give over to, to others. Okay, so that was the key. What he already learned... Yeah, to give so over... You, you, you well, I know, I know, well, wasn't wasn't Moshe's obligation to give it over? Sure, but no, no, no. Of course, of course, it was that. But he had to, had to but work it out of his mind, it? had to give it over to Claudius, so that we'd be able to accept it. Exactly. Yes. No, no, no. You can say it over, but he, but he, but you could say this, and then he'll have to explain. How am I going to explain it to them? Right, and so he'll say this exactly. That's not a problem. He'll give over the Torah exactly like Hashem told him to do. Yeah. But again, but then how do we how do we understand it? Because let's face it, when you see the just the psukim themselves, the words of the psukim, they don't we don't always understand what the pasuk is meaning. So Moshe Rabbeinu would work out on how he would give it over to us and so on. And that's how every every that's every rabbi every teacher yeah. does that. Right, you have to process it. And then you figure out how you're going to tell it over. Well, also because it, it says, say it, like you said, it says Daber, but it didn't say right. when you. Exactly. Daber, when you want to say it. Right, so, but we said that, no, but the, but the point we were saying is that he took time yeah. out of his own advancement of his learning in order to be able to pair, prepare and teach Kla Yisrael. Yeah. Okay, now, the Kal V'choy Milehedyet Halamid Minahedyet. And so much so to us, because we were learning this idea before last week of, of being Mava Sedra, we have to do Shnayim Mikrovech Retard, <laughs> right? And even though we understand that we know it, that we did it so many times, we still have to do it. Yeah. Because that is our key. In the same way, Maishu Beinu had to stop doing what he was doing in order to to, to fulfill and, and, and to advance Limerak Tayyar Bikla Yisrael. So too, we have to do that. And so, uh, we, that's the, the, the Kalva Chaymer, if we're learning a Hedyit, Halamid Mina Hedyit. Okay? Yeah. Now, Hainu, Shaf Soka Yishal Maisha Shahayu Liz Bainin. Because those times when Maisha Bainu stopped, they were for him to think it through. They were his Bainin us to think it through. Ikaram Hayabish Phil Shil Ilimdu, Kalva Chaymer had Yaitis Shiyasimu. Ravach bein inyan leinyan liz binin. So when you finish learning one idea, stop for a moment, process it. When we're learning ourselves, when we learn halacha, so don't just run to the next halacha. Stop for a moment, think it over. How can I apply this to my life? It's as it's not just information. See, sometimes people are learning; they just want to have a lot of information. But we're learning here a new idea. And when you learn something. So you say, now how can I fulfill this? How can I apply this to my life? Some new halacha, some new idea. How can I make this part of my avodah Hashem? Me'elu his ha'bechinais shal revach tzitrich and litem b'shvil is bainus. And all of this, the revach is all for the, because of this bainus. Shemisham, misham, nishtal shal v'nimshach kol v'chinas ayal v'nafak. And that's where all the ideas that we learned, where, where we have alias and yiridas. Yeah. Right, every yid has aliyas and has yiridas, and we know Chazal teach us that there's only the yiridas, only the litzarif the aliyah. Yeah. We don't have a yirida for the sake of the yirida. The yirida is only there to give us, to, to get us to the aliyah, to appreciate the aliyah when we get to the aliyah. Yeah. Shetrichin lahavsek ulevatel min alimud 
that we have to sometimes stop our learning. We have to go out and do work. We have to go to work. We have to do prepare food. We have to do whatever we have to do in our lives. Everyone mm-hmm. has to do their, 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 their things that they need to do. Mm-hmm. Right? But, but, but to understand that when we do that, but we're, we're, we're stopping our learning in order to fulfill the other things we need to do so that way I can get back to my learning and it can be meaningful where I'm not worried about I'm missing out on all these other things. I'm taking care of all of the other things, okay? And so too with the learning and so too is an avoid as Hashem. And again, like we learned the idea, we have to go, every one gets tired at night, we have to go to sleep. Right. So the nice, the beautiful, the, the beautiful idea is before you go to sleep, you're thinking, I'm tired now, and that's why I'm going to sleep. Everyone does that. Yeah. But you could, but you could say, I'm going to sleep now, so that way in the morning I can get up and I can go do my daf yoimi. In the morning I can get up and I can go to mm-hmm. shul. Yeah. I can do what I'm doing. I'm going to sleep, and then going to sleep. That whole sleep is a ma'isa mitzvah. Yeah, it's not just because it I'm tired. You to do exactly. It. So again, yeah. is what is our mo- what is our intent? <laughs> Yeah. If we put the right machshav in it, we make it count. Just like when you eat. Yes. So you eat so you have strength to to learn and to do a mitzvah. Not just, I'm E.P. because I'm all hungry. Right, right. The great Tzadik Rabbi Big Demilly used to say, when you eat something, you're supposed to say, Kedei is a goof. Yeah. I'm eating this in order to give vitality to my body, so in I, order that I can serve Hashem. Yeah. Uh, amazing. Now, Shebehecher, Sheyavru, all of Aliyah, if you read this, Harbe, it's it's inevitable. We are going to experience Aliyah, and you read this in our life. There's nothing we can do about it. That's part of life. That's part of Avaidus Hashem. Same bechinas ayal v'nafik. Shikra koyech lishazek b'hem who are yedei bechinas havsokais hanal. So basically, to understand like this, when you learn Torah and you think over what and you think over the concepts and you which fortifies us. So when we get into a case of a read where we feel like I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that, yeah. but I realize, wait a second, I'm only feeling this now because I, I'm, I'm really supposed to do this. Yeah. And we can overcome that feeling. We can overcome the Yerida based on our Zbainus and what we have <laughs> learned, and we understand how to fortify ourselves against these things and how to raise ourselves up. Yeah. Okay, now. Yeah. Now, Membeis. Right? We say this every day in Rabbi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rabbi Shmuel Leimer, right? Yeah. And we end off. So we have two psukim that are seemingly contradictory. Yeah. Right? We have two psukim that are seemingly, they're not contradictory, we're going to see in a moment, yeah. but they're seemingly contradictory. Yeah. And we're waiting for that third one that'll come, that, that, that'll make be uh, between the two of them, and it'll kind of, so, so to say, if make peace between the two psukim. Yeah, makes sense to show from that the two. Not to do it. Sheikh, who are the main one is the third pasuk. Shua Machria, that's the one that will that will that will be the make peace between the two psukim that were that were fighting with each other. They were they were contradict seemingly contradictory. That's like we learned before. We have in our minds we have Chachma being the dust, the Chabad. Remember. No. Right, we have chokma, which is the wisdom. We have we have bina, which is the understanding, processing the information, and the das is the outcome of the chokma and the bina. Right, that's the maya chashlishi. So you have two. So we're saying like this: you have two psukim, a machishim zed zeh. Right, so you have one 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 is the chokma, and then you have the bina in the mind. That's one pasuk, another one in the mind. Right, so here we go. We're, we're connecting like this. So in the mind, you have different ideas. You have different concepts, different ideas. But then you have the Bina, which is saying, hmm, how do I process this? How do I do that? And they're kind of contradictory sometimes. Yeah. But then when you put, when you work, the Das will work it out. And that's the uh, the, the, the third Pasuk, that's Machriya, between the two of them. You understand how he said they did this? Machriya, Shu Bechinas, Amaya Chashlish, which is the Das. Shesham Iker at Seirav, who, what? What's two out of three? That's two out of three. That's two out of three. Ikirat seirif abeir ki ikar ach shacha shebein shnei aksuvim. What is the what is the problem of why we have this the quarrel between these two psukim? Shu mitzidenu. That's on our part. That's yeah. on our lack of understanding. On our level. Machmas chesun datenu because we we don't understand how to look at it. 
We don't understand. Ki bevadei mishpatei Hashem yishorim tzok tu yachtav. But we know really the words of Hashem, the mishpatim of Hashem are righteous and correct. I just don't understand how it works. Man. I can't. I can't understand it. The lack. It's. It's not a problem in the psuk. In the psuk of Yasha. The problem is me that I can't understand it. <laughs> but really, there's no quarrel. They really. They do work together. You just have to understand how to read them. You just need to understand how to read them. Rak mechmas chisar and datenu, but because we're lacking our knowledge, nirin shnei aksu machachishin says that it seems to us as these two psukim are quarreling. The whole zeh machmas shaloyin is baru adayin mayach hashlishi shuadas because that's because we didn't really figure out how to work out that chachman the bean in ourselves and to clarify our das because we have the problem is today. We, we're, we're influenced by so much other things, by yeah. so many other worldly things. Yeah. We have politics and science and technology, yeah. all these yeah, different right, things. Right. So, 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 so the mind has all this information. The chachma is all there, yeah. and it, it's hard sometimes for the for the das to come out right because we have so much pollution in the chachma. Yeah, so it gets the wrong information. It takes it, it's processing takes it, it incorrectly. From exactly, from different right? Things are not. Yeah. Like, well, like it's we diluted. have, it's no, look, look, everything we know is a muscle for the name. So sometimes you can have a program on the, on the computer, right? That it, that it has a, a virus in it, that, it, that, it, that it's corrupted. Yeah, you have yeah. a corrupted file. Yeah. What is that? Why did, why does it have to be a corrupted file? For us to understand the process that we have in our mind things that are not yeah, always yeah. properly. Yeah, yeah. And we have to delete those things, right? You have a program that's corrupted. What do you think you delete the program? So we yeah. have to try to delete those things out of our minds in order to fix the the Maya Khashlishi, yeah. which is the dust. Shesham Ikra Beira, that's we have the cr- true clarification. And that's what it means. Next page, everyone, please. The third Pasik. Al Kain Hahra. Ba tikan ua yadeya kosov, therefore the 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 tikan is through the kosov, the writing, ashlishi, hamachriya bain shneik suvim, hamachishim zed zed that are quarreling between one another. Kika shlemis yadiya satayra hua yadeya das, because the shlemis yadiya satayra, our knowledge, the yadiya satayra, which is so important, yeah. right? They say that, you know, Rabbi, Rabbi Fran said that, uh, I remember when he did, went to, to see him at Shas, he said something so remarkable. He said that, that you know, going through, doing the Daf Yaimi yeah. is, a, is a very important thing. Why did Rabbi Fran say it's an important thing? He said it's like traveling. Rabbi Fran said it's like traveling. He says, you know, <laughs> sometimes you get on, a, you, you, you travel around the world yeah. and you come to different places and you're amazed by some places and you say, wow, I really want to go back here again and I want to uh, learn a little, I want to see a little more. bit more about this. Yeah. And other places you go, well, I, I'm happy I came here, but um, I'm done with that. I don't, need to, I don't need to see anything more. <laughs> yeah. So my friend said like that, when you have Yadiyas Hashas, Yadiyas HaTayra. So you see all the different beautiful things, all the different sites in the 3,000 blot yeah. as you go through the Shas. And there are some is out there say, wow, this is so beautiful. I want to spend a little more time. Yeah. Right? Someone will say he loves Shabbos, and then will say he loves Kedushin, and the other will say he loves Baba Bitsiya, and then yeah. he'll come back to it and he'll spend more time on it. But the main point is the Adiyah Satira. To have the Adiyah Satira, because having the Adiyah Satira and filling our mind with the Adiyah Satira, so to say, overshadows then all the other stuff that's in right. our minds, yeah. and then it can, we could be, that's the Machriya Beinayim, that's that third Pasuk, which is when we have the Das HaTayra. Shua Yedei HaDas, Yisham Ikra Beir, Shua Mayach HaShlishi, Bechines HaKos of HaShlishi, Vechanal, and now we finished up, this finishes up, Hilchas, Talmud, okay, so Baruch Hashem, we're, we're lucky now, and now we're going to start, so so just, just to recap, so we learned we learned so many we learned so many different beautiful ideas in in Hilchas Kriyas Hatayr, right? We learned the beautiful ideas of of why we have uh, uh, why, why we do why we do three why we do um, 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 the three aliyas, a minimum of three aliyas, 
a minimum of three yeah. psukim, had a three th- three par- portions of the mind. The Chachma Bina Das is always connected to the three psukim of the three aliyas, yeah, right? Why we, why we do Hakba? Why we do the Hakba, and the Hakba is to put the, is when we lift up the Torah, because Maisha Rabbeinu, because when we did the, when we did the Chait of the Eagle, so, Maisha Rabbeinu wound up dropping the Luchas, yeah. so then because he dropped the Luchas, now we lift up the Torah, and that's making a Tikkun for the dropping of the yeah. Luchas. We learned about, about Hagba. Yeah, and that's yeah. why Hagba is so important, and it puts down the, all the other noise of the world, that they, all the stupidity that the, yeah. that the politicians and all these Rishoyim have to say in the world. <laughs> by, us, by us doing that. So Baruch Hashem, we're going to learn now, we're going to take on, uh, we're going to start now, Hilchas Beis HaKnesses, okay? Mm-hmm. Alright, we're ready everyone? Here we go. So uh, we're going to learn in, in, in the next few pages, uh, we're going to learn the difference, what is a Beis HaKnesses, what is a Beis HaMedrash, what's the why is a base of medrash so to say uh, a little more important than a base of knesses in some aspects? Mm-hmm. What's the beauty of a base of knesses? And we're going to see. So let's 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 just get started. Here we go. Uh, okay, there's a kasha and bekasha. Okay, now key key base of tefila nikra base of knesses. Right, we know that right. A base of tefila is the base of knesses. Right, it's a place where we go in, connect yeah. like knesia, right, an entrance. We enter yeah. in. But the basic knesses. Al shisham machnisin kol nefoshes ayedei atfila shemispalul in sham. All kind of people come into the shul, right? Yeah. You have some very religious people, not so religious, unaffiliated people. But everyone comes in. Yeah. Everyone's <laughs> part comes into the shul. Ki atfila hu bechinas nefesh because the atfila is from our soul. It's the nefesh. So we people we don't realize that. Sometimes we go to these minyan. They're so fast. <laughs> We, yeah. we don't. We don't, we're just. We're just trying to keep, catch up. But really, a tefillah is an expression our of our our nefesh. Yeah. Tefillah is an expression of who we are. Sure, yeah. When we say psuke de zimra, we read those beautiful words. We're supposed to feel those words. Yeah. It's the nefesh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nefesh. Al kein ikra tefillah bebeisa knesses v'tziba. And therefore, the main tefillah is when you daven in a beisa knesses and you daven with a tziba, yeah. being part of a group. We learned the importance of that. Right, Kikra Aliyas Hanefesh Vishlei Musa Hu Shenechlolim Kol Nefoshim V'Nase Mechad. Because when you take all the different nefoshim, all the different people, and you put them together in one shul, in yeah. one base haknesses, so what you're doing is you're putting everyone together as being one unit. Everyone becomes one unit. Kiyaz Oylin Ela Kedusha. That's how we elevate ourselves to the Kedusha. Kiya Kedusha Echad because the Kedusha is one. What does it mean? One. Moshe Perish Rashi. Al Shivim Nefesh Beis Yaakov. We know that Yaakov Avinu went down to Mitzrayim. Al Shivim Nefesh. Yeah, yeah. Right. We recall that in the Haggadah when we read Pesach, Alel Pesach. Yeah, right. Shakulim yeah. Nekram Nefesh Echad. Everyone there is was called ne, uh, uh, was called Nefesh Echad. Was one soul. We were one people. Yeah. Seventy people, but it's one Nefesh. You what? Right? Oh, okay. We're taking the idea that you, we're taking we're taking the idea that when you take people together, you can have an echad. Seventy people can be one, even though those seventy people were all different types of people, but they went down as one. They, they take the ten maraglim as one to, to, to have how much is twelve. Receivable. Twelve. So why not no? use that? Why not use that same pasuk? Here, here, here you're using seventy. Yeah. Using 70 right. Right. And and and. and, and, and the Rabbanim use for the concept of 10 for, for a minion, for a tzibor. Right. So why not continue to use the, those same 10? Why all of a sudden go up to 7? Well, how about we want to use something in a positive note? Not, but it, it's positive. Okay. It's positive enough that using it for a minion okay. and a tzibor. So yeah, but we weren't there 12, that wait, weren't there 12? Uh, there were 12 uh, spots, yeah. Oh, yeah, but 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 were, the, were, the, were, the, were, the, were the, were the troublemakers. Yeah, right, right, Were the right. troublemakers. Right. Yeah. Valkane, well, okay, let's go back. Valkane. So the question is, why break away from 10? We're not breaking away. This is a different, you're bringing in a different concept. He's bringing in a different, it's a different well, lesson. about a minion now. You know, you know, there's one thing you need to understand. The Shiv and Panam Latayra. So when, so if you get fixed, it, I learned this idea, no, 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 and it has to be this way. I'm not saying anything has to be. Okay. Nothing has to be. 
No, so so, so the, we're not we're not we're not saying that we don't learn out a minion from the Ra, but that's fine. But that's a different thing. Here we're showing that we can have seventy different people, all different people, like in a shul, right? You may have a lot of different people and the different personalities, different uh, different situations. Oh, everyone's different. But they come in and it could be a concept of one. It's an example. Because tefillah is also a nefesh. And by, by over there it said, I'll shiv him the fosh here. When we become one, that's the point of this lesson. Well, okay. We studied this before, but it's worth saying it again. The Arizal said you're supposed to say in the morning. Before you, before you say, yeah, yeah. before you say brachos, I am in Kabbalah mitzvah. Say shall be hafdal reicha kamaicha. And there's a take upon myself that I want this mitzvah of the hafdal reicha kamaicha. Like Rabbi Akiva taught us, right? Zeh klal gadol b'tayra, right? Yeah. Rabbi Akiva taught us that. Okay, kamaicha kasev Rabbeinu she'i efshel ledabev diburei atzvila ki em al yedei hasholim shenis ya shenis chaber im kol nafshei Yisrael. See, really, we we want we want always to do our part in order to make ourselves connected to the tzibur. So when I take upon myself the mitzvah of a haftal that when I see someone else, I understand that there's a tremendous mitzvah. Rabbi Akiva taught us that that klal gadol right? That I have to work on making myself part of the community. Yeah. I am the understanding that I need yeah. to love everybody else. That means I have to be, I'm part of everybody else. Yeah, yeah. And that's why the main, when you're daven, you're daven together with a tzibar, right? And you don't daven be Okay, if you don't have a choice, you daven be But that's not the main thing. It shouldn't be that everyone should be yeah, a unit yeah. by themselves. She says, hey, that's the opposite of Kedusha, where it is individuals, where we yeah. want, the, we want the, the group to yeah. be one. We don't want individuals to be it by themselves. Yeah. Right. You have to get together the community. And make them into one. And therefore, that's why you dive in a tefillah with a tzibur. And where do you do that? In the base of Knesset, because that's where you go in. Because that's the place where everyone goes in and we become one in the base of Knesset. And that's Shlemus HaTfila. Now, Valkei Nikroi and Bahabate Knesset Al Shem Yaakov. And therefore, the base, but they can see us, the shul, our shuls are called based on Yaakov. And that's why there's maybe another understanding why we're using Yaakov over here. And when we're talking about Hilchas Beis HaKnesses in the Shivim, Nefesh Yod and Mitzrayim. Right. And right, that's maybe another reason why. Right? When Bil, when, right, when Bilam, right? Bilam and yeah. Bullock, right? They're coming up soon, right? Bilam and Bullock. Yeah, yeah, right? Those yeah. rascals, right? What? What's that? Yeah, they're coming. So what did he say? Matay, we yak. I called this brother who turned over. He he was mahapik the the, the claw of Bilam, yeah. and he made it into a, a bracha. And the words that came out of the Russian's mouth were matay vu It's very yeah. interesting that he used the words matay vu oilecha yakid. Yakid who clawly is calling the fashes because Yakid is the clawliest of all in the fashes. Why? Because Yaakov Avinu is the uh, is the is the is the uh, uh, of the is the of where the Shvatim came out of, yeah. and everyone came from so to say Yaakov Avinu. Right. Yeah. Shayisol bechinas kol a nefesh habol the base Yaakov. Right. Okay. There is it says kemaisha kasev rabbein and eiri yori bechinas Yaakov kol ha nefoshes heim baachdus kefevish Rashi. All the nefashes are one, as Rashi says, al shivim nefesh, on the 70 nefashes that came down to Mitzrayim. Again, a reference to Yaakov Avinu, the reference to nefesh echad, even though we were talking about 70. Okay? Havu b'chinus Avram v'Yitzchak, she yotzu mehem yishmoel v'esav, 
Well, we had Avram Avinu, right? He had a son. First, he had a son, Yishmael. And Yitzhak Avinu had a son, Asa. Because like, yeah. we're wondering why. Why is it going by Yaakov yeah. and not Avram Avinu or, or, or Yitzhak? How come they're not mentioned? Because Avram Avinu had a son, Yishmael. What? He wouldn't marry, right? The Asa of Shehem Bechinas Peirut. Right, right. The Asa of Shehem Bechinas Peirut. Asa is an, an idea of, of separation. Peirut. The Quran and the Foshes Belosh and Rabim. See, by Asa it says when it refers to Asa of children, it says in the Foshes Belosh and Rabim. They're not Nefesh Echad. Yeah. Yaakov and his children are one. Yeah. Esav has many children. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kamai she Rashi, Val Kate, Avram, Kara, Ha. Avram Avinu is called the Ha, right? Be it Sla Karu, Kara Isada. What? Sada Basada, that we, we Yitzhak made Mincha. He established Mincha, and it was a Surah Basada, that was Mincha time. Yeah, yeah. Right? Sheinay uh, makam uh, uh, mukaf mechitza is because the sada and the har there were no walls. Yeah. There's no there's no 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 division, right? There ain't sham kenisa v'zvados v'zcharbus yachad. In the field, there's no unity. Yeah. There's no gathering together. Yeah, yeah. It's in the field. Yeah. It's not a building. But since Yaakov has the Achdus, Al Kain Karoy Karoy Bias. Therefore, he's called the Bias. He's the house because they get together. One, they come in together as one. That's why he's the Bias. Bechinas is Vadus Vishabras getting together as a Vad as a as a as a as a as a group, right? Vishabras and connecting together. Shekol Hanefashes Miskansin. Everyone comes together to one place, like again, like we're learning about the Beis HaKnesses. Yeah. And that's why the Beis HaKnesses is referred to Yaakov, because he was the bias, and the Yaakov was considered Nefesh Echad. Bechines Beis Tvila, Shehu Raka Yedei Bechines Yaakov is only via Yaakov Avinu. Kibate Kinesias Heim Bechines Beis HaMikdash. The Bata Knesias, they are like a Migdash. Right? Like a Migdash. Kamaycha Kosov. Oylehem le Migdash Mat. It should be to them, like when the Navi Yecheskel says, it should be to them a Migdash Mat, a small Migdash. And we know, that's what we, we understand that today, that all of our shuls, all our Bata Midrashim, they're like a Migdash Mat. Yeah. Right? Vayin Hetev Inyan Zeh. Bishila Samamra Iskal Bela Mishpata Mesim in Yodal lesson uh uh lesson fourteen in Lakuta Maran Hamadaber Minyan Harv Sada Rabayas. Okay, fine, we'll do that one day, Mitzvah Shep. Valkay and Sarah Dafka Lispala Bebesa Knesses. Therefore we know the main part is the Davin in the Besa Knesses. And we know if you look in Shulchan Aruch, there's a din that even if you if even if you if for some reason you can't make it to a minion. Right. So you should not rather daven at home. You should still go to the shul. Even at least though, daven in the shul, even yeah. if you're not, even if there's not, not going to be a minion. Yeah. But at least daven in the shul because that's a place for tefillah. Even you're the only one. Even there. though you're the only one there, right? That's right. That's right. Daven in the shul, then daven. Right. By exactly. Kiyikah shleimus at tefillah, kishu bechinas bias. Because that's the ikir house, because that's like the base of migdash, and this is the migdash maat. Therefore, one can, so to say, um, uh, coerce, we'll use that word, uh, yeah. his friend to let's build the Beis HaKnesses. Uh-huh. You know, some other mitzvahs, we don't do that. But if you come to a, a new neighborhood, and they don't have a shul, oh. yeah. so one can say to the other one, listen, we have to build a shul. He can be right. very uh, forceful, he can be a little forceful with him about it. Yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, and that's in Shulchan Aruch. You see that in in Arachayim in Simon Kuf Nun Sif Aleph, right? Kime Aches Shuhu Bechinas Achdos Al Kein Yochel Kalechad La Lechayif Es Chaveira because we need to create this Achdos. So therefore, if you don't have the shul, 
everyone has to get together and make sure that they build a shul and they have a shul so everyone can get together and be one nefesh in one place, in this place. Now, if a person, if a person is falling or something, you can, you can, you can, you can give the guy a schlep or something, right? Yeah. Even though maybe he doesn't feel it, right? Mashitzarch im im calls there haeva sheni margish keiv chaveri. But if he, if the aver felt the koiv, the pain of the second one, if he felt it, the limb felt it, or mishtadel ba'atzalosai, he would be mishtadel to 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 save it. Cain kishaze. The right to live nice base of Knesset. So too, when one wants to build a base of Knesset, even though perhaps the second one doesn't necessarily understand the importance, yeah. but he wants to build it, right? Yeah. Therefore, he could be a little bit uh, persistent. Let's maybe use yeah. that word. Be a little more persistent with the people yeah. in order to make sure you build a shul. Yeah. Al came, but they can see us again by him covered. Therefore, when you have a base of Knesset, you have to conduct yourself in the way of of covered, yeah. right? In a respectful what? way. Okay. What? It's, it's only no Hagen, it's not uh, Chiyuv. Why, why no Hagen, not Chiyuv? But we are Noyeg, we conduct ourselves in the way of covered. Yeah, of course, it's a Chiyuv, but we're, we're Noyeg in that way. It's my Minog, it's my Minog to have covered. No, I, I don't know if you want to. Okay, well, is that a strong enough word? We are okay. Al Kain, but the Knesset Noyegim Bahem Kavod. And if you look in Shulchan Aruch, I believe that's the same words that they use there. In Shulchan Aruch, if you look it up in Simon Kufna and Aleph, in Sif Aleph, we're Noyegim Kavod. That's the that's the way we conduct ourselves. It teaches how we're supposed to conduct ourselves in a in a in a in a base. Like, yeah, Ki Ikra Nefesh Tali be Kavod because the Nefesh is Tali. They covered. The nefesh is totally in color. It covered in respect. Can I just cause Rabbeinu Shem bechinas basad basaydam al tovay nafshi bekolam al tachak kivodi v'zeh bechinas b'asham rezinas a ein mechabdin ella bepesach sheyesh boy mezuzah. Right. The Gemara says you're supposed to show covered only in an opening that has a mezuzah. The Gemara says that. What? Yeah, ain ella bepesach sheyesh by mezuzah. What we're gonna see now? Who mechabd bepesach beis haknesses af al pi sheein by mezuzah. So that's the so the Gemara says that you be mechabd places that have a mezuzah. But here the chiddush is that we mechabd the beis haknesses even though in the beis haknesses you don't put a mezuzah. No, that's right. Only a beis medrash you'll put a mezuzah, but not in the beis haknesses. The din is you don't have a mezuzah on the door. Yeah, yeah. It's very, because, very interesting. You, no, be, because you don't live there. You don't okay. live there. Kiya mezuzah, ki mezuzah hu bechinas malchus kamuva. Mezuzah is malchus, which is covered, right? You give covered to malchus, right? Yeah. So bechinas ha covered. Bechinas melech ha covered, right? An aspect of melech ha covered. Yeah. Okay, and again here we see nefesh. Nefesh, we're talking about you have nefesh echad, right? Yeah. Giving cover to the nefesh. Okay, is the mezuzah is the kedusha. The mezuzah is ashiras the kedusha. Yeah. Right, the mezuzah. Right, when you have a mezuzah on the door, that's that's our that's true wealth. Yeah, yeah. Ashir is the kedusha. That's 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 um, uh, um, holy wealth. Yes, yes. Ki who shayvish on the fashes. Okay, kamaycha kasser ben neir yad besimin samal ches. Another lesson. Valkin rabbi 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 mechabed ashirim. Therefore, rabbi rabbi Yehuda Nasi was mechabed ashirim. Right, he was mechabed ashirim. Mechabed daiker. Ki Ashiras who Shirish and the is because the Ashiras is the Shirish of the Nefesh. You need to have what you need in order to, to live properly. Right. Right? Who yeah, yeah. is covers? Everything is Aisha. Let's get it. Okay, here we go. Next page. The cover the Alkane Ain Royal Khabit Kim the Pesach Shiesh by Mezuzah. 
So I guess here's the connection we're making over here, right? So normally, why do you give, what we're learning now, why does the Gemara say, did he give covet to a Pesach that has mezuzah? Because that is, that is a shiris the Kedusha, the mezuzah. Yeah. And therefore, therefore, there, that's the place where you'll give, where you'll give the covet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And therefore, we have to make sure we always give covet to one another, to each, to each one of us. To, to show, and why do you, why do you have to be mechabit each another Jew? Because to show the nefesh of each Jew is holy. Yeah. So you're showing, you're giving covet to another person to showing that his nefesh is holy yeah. and I'm being mechabi, the kedusha of his nefesh. Yeah. Okay, now. Avo, basic knesses. Now here, this, this is the point that we're getting to our lesson here now. Avo, basic knesses. But when you come to a basic knesses, av she'ein by mezuzah, even though there's no mezuzah on the door. So one would think, well, maybe I don't have to be Naya covered over here based on what the Gemara says, because I have to give covered where there's a mezuzah. But here there is no mezuzah. Mechab <laughs> dimsham, right? We do have to give covered. Kisham makem a covered. Kiu bechinas beis yakov. So now we understand that the nefesh is the kedusha, and the nefesh is where we have to give covered to. And now we understand that we it was nefesh echad that was shivim nefesh yod mitzrayim, and that was considered as one nefesh, as Rashi said. Yeah. Nefesh Echad, they were one people. So therefore, that's the important significance of why it was Echad. Why? Because even though there's no mezuzah, now we understand that we have to give covet even in the base of Knesses. Shall covet va nefesh nikram al shemai. Kemai shakasa beside that, okay, nafshi ve kahalam, kivoidi, kemai shakasa rabbeinu, ayin sham, alkin sarach, linda, covet, gadol, the base of Knesses. Therefore, since we're getting everyone together in the base of Knesses, and we're acting, and we're, we're saying, we're, we're in the mitzvah of a haftal We love every single Jew. And we're working on connecting ourselves to every single Jew. And that is the covet. And that is the uh, ashir is the kedusha by itself. Yeah. Same thing like the mezuzah. We are, right. pre- we are, I guess. Kedei lo'ara b'chlolius hanefoshes mishoshim z'u b'chines ha-kovet to show the, the, the shayrish of our nefashis is what the covet, and that's why we have to be mechabit each and every Jew, and that's why we make sure we're not yet covered in the base of Knesset, even though there's no mezuzah. Yeah. And we'll leave it over here, everyone. Thank you very much, and we'll take a break now. Why? Why?